from the ramen culture. We're gonna now make shio ramen using the chintansu. Yo! First step is to reheat the chintansu. Let's heat this up. Now we're gonna cover the second element, which is the topping. So you guys remember we made some soft boiled egg ajitamago, and pork belly chashu, and menma, the bamboo shoots. And we have some veggies here. We made some spinach, cut up some scallions, and we have some nori, also known as seaweed. I wanna make sure we cover the toppings prior to putting the noodles in. Once you put the noodles in, there's no time to prep these things. There's no time to cut scallions, none of that. So you gotta make sure the toppings are already set up just like this. And the third element is the tare. We got the shoyu tare, shio tare. The only thing that's different between shoyu ramen and shio ramen is the tare. Either you're gonna put this tare or the shio tare. Everything else is the same. Same soup, same noodles, same toppings, same aroma. So right now we're gonna be making the shio ramen. So we're gonna need one ounce of shio tare. So now we got the fourth element, the aroma oil. You guys remember we made some green onion aroma oil and bonito katsuobushi aroma oil. So I'm gonna add half a tablespoon of green onion aroma oil and half a teaspoon of bonito. Now we're gonna put this to the side. Now the fifth element, the noodles, the final element. I'm gonna set the timer at two minutes for these noodles and start the timer. I'm gonna throw this in, I'm gonna make sure this is swimming in the hot water, you don't want the noodles to stick together. By stirring it, you're checking to make sure the noodles aren't sticking together. So at 30 seconds before the noodles are up, I'm going to put the soup in the bowl. You're gonna add 12 ounce of the soup. You have the oil floating. That's, what the, that's the look you want. Now the noodles are up, stop the timer, strain the water. Wait for the water to come down, and then when it starts to drip, use a little bit of gravity to get it all off. So the noodles are done. I'm gonna use the chopsticks so that it doesn't go all over the place. What I usually do is I use the edge of the bowl and let it fall down. I'll stir it up a little bit, double checking again, there's no noodles that are sticking together. I wanna make an island here so that when I put all the toppings on, the toppings are not sinking to the bottom. So let's put the vegetables first, the spinach, some scallions, the menma. I wanna do is put the chashu in as well. Put the eggs in. And finally, I'm gonna put the seaweed. So that's how you use chintan to make shio ramen. Thanks for watching, guys.